It is now time for us to reach the end of the crud, the delete. We're gonna remove some items from, or at least an item from the database. Uh, now, delete comes in two different flavors. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be doing a hard delete. So this is actually truly removing the item from the database, and this is not recoverable. Uh, uh, yeah, basically just not recoverable. It's gone forever. So uh, let's first start by uh, creating our Thunder client request that's going to be doing the delete for us. So I'm gonna do a new request. We're gonna call this um, delete task. This is going to be a delete method. I'm gonna to go to HTTP, localhost, port 3000, and then the ID of what we want to delete. So we were working with a task ID seven. I remember that one. So let's go ahead and use that. Um, and I don't necessarily need anything else here. Of course, if I send this, we get a 404 not found. Uh, well, actually, you know what? This is gonna be task seven. That's what it is. 405 method not allowed. That's what I was looking for. Um, now the delete is an HTTP method that's sent and that's gonna be exactly the same as patch or put or get. It's, um, so it's a unique way for us to know exactly what we want to do. We wanna delete this resource. Okay, so we're going to come into our routes. Um, let's add in a delete. So delete task. We'll mod this. Uh, we'll do a pub async function delete task. And we'll use it. And let's throw this into our routes. All right, so we have routes going to go to slash tasks slash the task ID. Um, we're going to have the we're going to use a delete, uh, which is part of this axum routing and throw in the handler there. All right, so this should now allow us to inside this delete, we should get a 200 okay. But if I go back to uh, the get, get one task, here's task seven, it still exists. So obviously we're not doing any deletes yet, but we have, um, we have our test essentially set up for us to know if we've done it correctly now. Okay, so what do we need to come in here? Well, we need the task IDs, that's gonna be the path. So path, task ID is gonna be a path I32. Uh, we need that database. So that's the extension. Uh, that's the database connection. Uh, and is there anything else that we necessarily need? Not really, because we don't need to take in any data. And uh, we don't necessarily need to return anything. But if something goes wrong, let's return a status code. Uh, like 500 or, or maybe a 404 if we can't find it. So we'll do a turn a result. Um, I don't care about if it's successful, that'll just be a 200. Uh, and if it's unsuccessful, let's return a status code. All right, so I don't need a semicolon there. Uh, you're yelling at us because we're not done. Let's, let's to do that. Okay, so uh, first things first, we need to know if, we need to know if we, um, if we got this. Let's, uh, let's see what that is. Let's, um, we could do a query to see if, we've, if we find it. There's actually a couple ways for us to do a delete. I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you both ways. First is a query for this. So if I do let, um, this is gonna be our task, equals we want tasks 
uh, we actually have to do that get entity. So what? Use create database pass entity as task. Okay. So I want task. Um, let's do find by ID. Pass that task ID. Uh, we want to get one. Pass it the database. We await. Uh, we're going to map this error. So if we get an error at this point, it's because we couldn't find it. So this is going to be a 404. So we're going to want it to return a status code uh, not found. And question mark that. Actually, no, sorry. In this point, uh, it's an internal server error. Uh, it's now an option. So now if this, so we can do a uh, let task equals if let sum, this will be the task. Uh, we return task out of here. And if we don't find this, this is going to be a return error status code. Uh, not found. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, so that gives us the task. We know we have the task and it exists. So if we want to delete it, we're going to do pass delete. We pass it in the model. So this is task. Uh, then we let's see, what do you what do you need? We actually have documentation sort of built in here. So we're going to do this delete. Oh, we exec. So dot exec. Uh, the trait bound ask model is an active model. Ooh, so you need to be, you need to be an active model. So A where A is an active model trait. Okay, so we can do that. So we're going to turn this into an active model. So into active model. Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we do an into active model that gives us an active model here. Now, now we're happy. Uh, exactly pass it in a reference to the database. Uh, that implements a future that must be used. Okay, so that's a wait. Um, that's probably going to have a result that must be used. So we're going to map the error. So we have our error here. And I want to return a status code. Don't save. Don't open random files. Uh, status code. Um, okay, uh, status code. What is it? Um, oh, internal server error. And then we can question mark you. Uh, we're good to go. And this just becomes an okay. Okay. All right, this should work. Uh, let's test it out. So we have our get one task. This is still working. We go to delete task. Uh, we're deleting seven, 200. Okay. Hey, we got a 404 not found for getting this one task. Excellent. So if I go to a six now, okay, so six exists. Let's look through a different way to do this. So this is definitely one way. Um, and this is this is a way for us to know if it exists already. Uh, sometimes though, actually returning the 404 isn't what you want to do. Sometimes you just want to return a, um, uh, a 200 okay, regardless of whether or not it was successful or not. Or maybe you want to internal server error if you attempt to do it and it fails, but you know, there's lots of different reasons why you might want not want to let somebody know that it didn't exist. 
So in that case, we can just go straight to delete. So we can do tasks uh, delete by ID uh, and pass it in the task ID. Uh, so in this case, we want to exec, pass it in a reference to the database. Uh, we have an await, uh, we have a result, so we're gonna map the error. Uh, and we're going to return that as a status code, uh, internal server error, question mark, and semicolon you. So this is a little bit uh, shorter. Um, right, I am not using this error. Um, I could get the message from the error and pass that uh, back too, but I'm just not in this API. Okay, and that uh, this should do exactly the same thing. So we have six here that exists. Let's go ahead and delete six. And that's gone as well. And then finally, what if we want to delete many things? So uh, what if we want to sort of like, you know, get delete more than one item? Now, in this case, we're deleting one item and we own one item only. So let's use the delete many, but still lock it down to just this one. So that's going to be tasks delete many. Um, we have to do a filter. Uh, to now say which ones we want to delete. So in this case, I want the tasks import you. I want column ID. We want to set that to be equal to the task ID. We want to execute this to the database. Uh, then we await. We map error. Map error, please. Uh, we have our error. Uh, and this becomes a status code. Uh, internal server error. Question mark that. And we're good. So this is a way we can delete many of these. If you do this, do not forget the filters. The filters are absolutely important. Otherwise, you will delete every item in that table, uh, which is not fun, um, unless that's exactly what you want. Um, I usually consider this delete many type, especially if you decide for some reason not to have a filter. This is the equivalent of the giant big red uh, self-destruct button that you know uh, James Bond villains seem to have in their lairs, at least the old movies do. Okay, so. Let's um let's run this. So we have we have five. We do have a task ID five. We run you, we delete, and now you're gone too. Uh, but four should still exist because we didn't delete everything yet. So this is how we delete items from the database. These are hard deletes again, so they're gone forever. If we want to recreate them, we have to literally recreate them with a new insert. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.